Hi, this is Risa, your Stitch Buddy. Welcome to my Craft Along series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to craft a purse out of your embroidery piece. I used an embroidery completed from a kit I bought on Etsy, the review of which you can view on my channel. Let's begin. Here's the completed piece that I'm going to use. Now, the pattern on the cloth was drawn using a heat erasable pen. So before I iron the cloth, I've marked out the corners of the purse on the inside of the cloth so that I can use it as a reference later when I stitch the purse. Now you may access the stitch along video for this kit by clicking on the link above. I bought some baby pink fine cotton fabric as a backing for the purse as I think it complements the pink butterflies in the embroidery piece. You will also need some fleece. I'm going to use iron-on fusible fleece to reduce the stitching time. So fusible fleece has a rough side to it, which is the part you need to iron on to the fabric, in this case the pink cotton that I want the fleece to adhere to. You can also iron on the fusible fleece to the actual embroidered fabric instead. You can also use normal fleece or even rigid fleece for this project. I used rigid fleece for a more formal clutch or purse I embroidered as a Christmas gift. For this project however I'm going to use the more soft fusible fleece as I'd like to have a more malleable purse that I can fit in my larger bags. I've cut out 25 by 35 centimeters of the fusible fleece and you also need to do the same with the cotton fabric with some allowance for seam and I've ironed on the cotton fabric onto the fusible fleece and you can see that it sticks really well. So now I have the cotton and the fleece tucked together and I'm going to bring in the embroidered piece now to start stitching the purse. I'm going to use a white sewing thread to stitch the purse by hand. If you have a sewing machine, go ahead and use that. Now, the first thing you need to do is to place the fleece at the bottom and the cotton fabric facing you. Next, you have to place the embroidery piece with the front of the embroidery facing the cotton and the back facing yourself and align the bottom corner of the purse with the end of the fleece that is ironed onto the cotton fabric. Make sure the front of the fabric is facing the cotton and not the fleece because when you turn it over you want the pink cotton fabric on the back of the finished embroidery. So now I'm just making sure that the corners of the purse markings that are drawn are aligned with the fleece at the bottom and also making sure that there's a little bit more fleece above the edge of the purse. So I'm pulling that down a little bit here. And now I'm going to attach the two fabrics with a pin. And I'm gonna attach pins on the other sides of the fabric as well. In fact, I'm attaching all three fabrics if you also count the fleece Next, I'm going to take a ruler to draw a line that will be the seam line where I'm going to stitch on. Essentially just pulling the line from the end of the purse down to the rest of the fabric. I'm going to start stitching the seams with simple back stitches along three sides of the fabric first. Taking a pair of scissors, I'm going to trim along the seam line. I 
I haven't stitched the bottom seam yet so that I can turn over the piece right side up like so and make sure all the ends and the tips are nice and pointy. So there we have it. We have the front and we also have the back. I've ironed the finished piece so that the pink backing is nice and flat against the front embroidered fabric and now I'm going to stitch the bottom seam. Before I stitch the seam, however, I realize that I need to insert the ribbon that will be required to tie the purse down. So I think I'll do that first with the ribbon that was provided in the kit before I stitch the seam. Now using blind stitches, I'm going to stitch the two seams together. So essentially how you stitch blind stitches is you take a little bit of the fabric from the front and a little bit from the back without really piercing both fabrics. And so essentially you don't see the stitch lines here at the bottom of the seam. After inserting the second ribbon, I stitched the other side of the purse and now here we have it. A pretty embroidered do-it-yourself purse. In fact, it's the perfect purse to carry my intimates discreetly to the restroom at work. So just the right size to carry and the right size to fit in my office bag. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to click on the subscribe, like and notification buttons. Bye bye.